Well, thank you so much for having me here to speak about my research, which focuses on the use of technology to treat diabetes in pregnancy. Diabetes is the most uh, common condition affecting pregnancy, and in the UK it affects 7% of mothers and babies. For those of you less familiar with diabetes, it's a condition that's characterised by an inability of the body's own insulin to move sugar effectively from the bloodstream to the cells where it can be used for energy. As I'm sure many of you know, there are a number of different <coughs> types of diabetes and all of them have significant implications for the person who has the condition and in pregnancy also for the unborn child. The type of diabetes that I focus on is type 1 diabetes, which is the most severe of any, uh, any of the types and is an auto autoimmune condition where the body's own immune system attacks the pancreas and stops it from producing insulin. Um, as I mentioned, there are a number of different complications that result from diabetes. Uh, so in the short term, we see um, both high and low blood sugars being immediately life-threatening. In the longer term, we see higher rates of cardiovascular disease, nerve problems, kidney problems and blindness. All of these complications are accelerated in pregnancy and you have an additional problem where the baby is essentially receiving too much sugar from mum. Uh, so these babies have higher rates of miscarriage, congenital abnormality, stillbirth, uh, neonatal death and intensive requirement for treatment in and around the time of birth. Increasingly we're also beginning to appreciate the lifelong impacts that diabetes in pregnancy has on the offspring of diabetic mothers. So these babies go on to face higher rates of type 2 diabetes and obesity uh, later in life. So there are a number of different options for treatment, but all of them relate to insulin replacement. That is, we have to use insulin from outside the body and put it into the body to work to bring down sugar levels. Traditionally, this has in, uh, been via multiple injections of insulin each day. And more recently, we've seen a move towards uh, insulin pumps, which deliver insulin continuously in a way that more closely mimics normal physiology. But despite this progress, women uh, during pregnancy spend about half of the day, 12 hours or so, with abnormal sugar levels. And uh, diabetes is particularly difficult for us to control during pregnancy because the normal hormonal changes associated with pregnancy mean that it's difficult to predict how a woman's body will process both glucose and insulin. So in an attempt to address, this uh, address the treatment of diabetes both in and outside of pregnancy, the team that I work with has developed a system called the artificial pancreas or closed loop insulin delivery. Unfortunately, the system's not as slick as we'd like it to be yet, so I'll quickly walk you through the three different components. The first is a continuous glucose monitor. So it's a small device that sits uh, on the body and measures glucose continuously. It transmits a glucose reading to an algorithm that's housed on a computer, or in our case, on a tablet computer. Um, this algorithm uses individualised data from that woman and uh, predicts future changes in glucose. It then recommends an appropriate rate of insulin that's delivered via a normal insulin pump. Outside of pregnancy, this technology has uh, been demonstrated to improve the amount of time someone spends with normal sugars and decrease rates of those dangerously low and life-threatening blood sugars. In pregnancy, uh, so far it's been tested under very tight laboratory conditions and been demonstrated to effectively um, adapt to changes in early and late pregnancy and to cope with challenges including high carbohydrate meals and exercise. But high carbohydrate meals or diet in general and exercise remain the number one challenges to making this technology the answer. Um, and so the first and obvious uh, initial application is to use this technology at night where those things are less uh, relevant. So that's exactly what I do. Um, at the moment I'm recruiting for a study uh, which will have women wear this technology for 28 nights and then they'll have 28 nights where they wear the normal pump alone with the best available advice we can give them on how to effectively use their pump. And if this uh, is shown to be effective and easily usable, we'll roll it out to a full-scale trial of 160 women from around the country who will wear this uh, for their entire pregnancy. So I hope, um, although short, I've been able to give you a little insight about why I find this topic so exciting. Um, the artificial pancreas has the potential to revolutionise the treatment of type 1 diabetes, and in, uh, in particular in pregnancy, it could be great where we find it so difficult to effectively manage diabetes, but where the impact on both the mother and the child can be so big. 
Um, so before I finish, I'd just like to thank all the people that I have the privilege to work with and, of course, all the funders as well. Um, if any of you are more interested, I'm actually wearing one at the moment, so feel free to come up and have a chat to me. I don't have diabetes and I'm not pregnant, but I am wearing the technology, so I'm more than happy to explain any bit of it further. <laughs>